One of you has asked me to help with this particular question about uh, relative velocity. Uh, before I start, I want to give credit and say thanks to Cambridge Examinations. This is their question. I did not create it. We're just here together to solve it, all right? So let's see what is going on. Yeah, I see a particular diagram over here. Uh, a right angle triangle, so probably some trigonometry. Let's find out. The diagram shows a river with parallel banks. Yeah, so this is the land, and that is a river. Okay, the river is 40 meters wide. Yeah, and is flowing with a speed of 1.8 meters per second. Okay, let me just put a little box or let me just underline that because that is important. Okay, we continue. A canoe travels in a straight line from a point P on one bank to point Q on the opposite bank, 70 meters downstream from P. So from P to Q, and that is 70 meters downstream. Yeah, that all makes sense. Given that the canoe takes 12 seconds to travel from P to Q, so that's only 12 seconds. That's pretty fast, by the way, but okay. Um, yeah, perhaps that's some sort of athlete. Then we have to calculate the speed of the canoe in still water and the angle of to the bank that the canoe was steered. Okay, interesting. So I've got to do two things. I've got to calculate the speed of the canoe in still water and the angle to the bank. Okay. Now that's a very interesting question and uh, so thank you for asking it. Now what is important, yeah, now if they would just ask me the speed of the canoe, I would do the distance over the time, right? Speed, distance over time, and the time is 12 seconds, okay? But they're not asking me the speed of the canoe, they're asking me the speed of the canoe in still water. Because what is happening now, right now there is a particular stream, right? The water has a particular yeah, speed, if you like, in that direction of 1.8 meters per second, all right? So that canoe, if you like, is being pushed by itself already in that direction. Okay, so I'm going now to, to sketch a new diagram. By the way, sorry, this is also 40, yeah? Do we understand that? That is 40 uh, meters. I'm gonna create, no, I'm not gonna create yet. I'm going to calculate first the distance yeah, that the water pushes the boat into that horizontal direction. Yeah, because for 12 seconds with a speed of 1.8 meters per second, yeah, if you put it in your calculator, you're gonna get 21.6 meters, okay? So that boat by the water is being pushed 21.6 meters into that direction. Okay, now I'm gonna create a, a new diagram. So I'm just gonna put that one here. Beautiful, and um, let me do that in red. I'll have, no, sorry, uh, let me do that again. I have a new triangle because it was like this, okay. This is, let's say, P2, okay, and that is still Q. So not P1 anymore because P1, if you like, uh, was over here, yeah. But this is taking away the distance of uh, of the water, if you uh, if you like. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm rambling a little bit now. Let me just finish the diagram. Yeah, this is still 40. Yeah, the distance from one bank to the other bank, but the length of this one is not 70 anymore. No, the length is 70. Take away the 21.6, and that is 48.4 meters. Yeah? So this one is 48.4. All right. And just to show you again very quickly um, that. Sorry, come on, go away, I want you, yeah. So this 70 meters becomes 48.4 because I subtracted um, the distance that the boat travels due to the, to do the speed or, or the force of the water, if you like, yeah? Okay, let me get rid of that again. So there we go. And then they're asking me, what is the question? Yeah? So now it's still water, if you like, yeah? They're asking me, what is the length now of this one? Because if I know the length, and it takes him still 12 seconds to go from P2 to Q, then his speed is gonna be this length over 12. And I can calculate that length um, in various ways. Well, let's say the best way is doing it with Pythagoras theorem. Yeah, A squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse squared, and that is in this case X, okay? And if you work it out, I have relatively a small amount of space. I'm gonna skip a few steps, but of course you're gonna do 40 squared plus 48.4 squared. 
Yeah, but because of space issues, I'm just going to write down that's 3,942.56, I believe. Uh, and then the square root of that, because that is a distance. It's a little bit too long here. Yeah? So don't forget to square root that. And that will be 62.8 meters. Okay, so that is 62.8. Now that makes sense. So what is his speed? The speed of the canoe that in still water is 62.8 over 12 seconds. Yeah, because that's what they tell me. It's 12 seconds, um, and that is uh, 5.23 meters per second. Okay, so that will be the speed of the canoe in still water. Yeah, so first I got to subtract that distance, uh, which is inflicted by the force of the water. Yeah, so that is not 70, but it becomes 48.4. All right, moving on to the next question. That particular angle. Well, then we are talking about this angle. Yeah, let's call it alpha. And uh, yeah, what is the size of that angle? Loads of ways of doing it. Yeah, but. I'll do the tangent, yeah, so tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Do I have some space for that? Um, can I just move that? Yes, I can. Okay, so question B, yeah, or the second part of this question. So the tangent of alpha is going to be my opposite over the adjacent, okay? And then to find the actual angle, you have to do the inverse yeah, on your calculator of the ratio which is 40 over 48.4 and if you do that and you round that correctly you're gonna get 39.6 degrees okay for that particular angle okay so a beautiful question involving um, relative uh, velocity okay um, and I hope that was useful you can check my site explainingmaths.com for more free resources you can also ask me your question over there if you have any uh, like and share this video if it was useful for you. All right. I will really appreciate that. I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.